We cannot end uh, this uh, discussion on Kostem and uh, the, on the up-to-date uh, controversies or uh, the field of uh, stem cell transplantation without CAR T-cells. So chimeric antigen receptor CAR T-cells, there are already four commercial products for various type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma actually covering uh, almost all non-Hodgkin lymphoma including diffuse larvae cell lymphoma, transformed follicular, follicular lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, mediad- mediastinal lymphoma, and, uh, and uh, there are already one product approved for multiple myeloma, and the second one, are, uh, are, uh, we believe, will come shortly. And so uh, now the, the in, in lymphoma and in myeloma, we are getting to the point in which there will be patient in which uh, autologous uh, stem cell transplantation and uh, for sure allogeneic transplantation will uh, be replaced by CAR T cells. The CAR T cells will move uh, forward. There are already a press release of two studies uh, that uh, show that there is advantage in, uh, in leukemia free sur- in uh, lymphoma free survival if you use uh, CAR T-cells for a relapsed patient, at least if you don't give them any therapy uh, post-relapse. Uh, of course, uh, there are, will be a patient that's uh, a chemosensitive that will need autologous transplant. Of course, uh, we don't have the full data of these uh, studies, and uh, of course, we don't have the 30 years or so experience with CAR T-cells. But the field is moving very fast for immunotherapy, uh, especially in lymphoma and myeloma, and this includes not just the CAR T-cell, but also a, a really plethora of uh, new antibodies, bite antibodies and drug-conjugated antibodies. And so, I mean, there is a, it's a good time, again, for our patient and for the immunotherapy field, which all started in stem cell transplantation.